Hey guys, I'm gonna show you how you can get extra placer gold using my tips and tricks. And I guarantee you some of these you've never seen before. I got a trick for you guys that's gonna really help out, especially you new guys out there who have issues dealing with black sand, because I know it's a pain in the butt trying to get through all that black sand when you got fine gold on the bottom. Look at her, hey, I love your shirt. Nice love, show. <laughs> You're out in the field and you say, ooh, this looks like a good spot. So I'm gonna sample. Mm. So what's the first thing you're gonna do? That's right, you submerge that pan. Get everything wet in the pan. Are you driving a truck? <laughs> what are you doing? <laughs> <laughs> what she's attempting to do is, is stratify the material. And she's absolutely right. She's shaking it from side to side because that's how you stratify it. And what all that means is that all the heavies go to the bottom, lights stay on top. All right, so there's our goal. If I shake, nothing's really happening. See that? It's moving a little bit down, but not very fast. Now watch, if I submerge it underwater, I create liquefaction. And look, it's gone. And it's already at the very bottom. That's why we try to stratify that material. Shake it, create liquefaction. Get all the heavies to drop to the bottom. Remember that when you're out in the field, you gotta submerge that pan. You're gonna just get violent with it. Arrgh! Give me that gold. Who does shiny work for? See that? Now, a lot of people say that I'm too aggressive when I'm panning. I'm just telling you, if there's any gold in there, it's gonna stay in the bottom. It's got all that material on top. Tilt forward, let the water wash it out. Now, years ago, we came up with a technique to make this process so much faster. And in fact, when we went up to Sutter's Mill and we went to one of the, the parks up there, remember that, sweetie? Yeah. And the lady said, yeah, you can have as much gold as you can pan out. And I'm like, you don't know who you're talking <laughs> to, lady. Now that's about what, three quarter. Stratify, get the riffles to the front. The hole goes to your belly button on these Garrett Super Sluices. Now, I'm gonna tilt the pan forward and I'm gonna use the side of my hand to push the material out. See that? Stratify, shake side to side, tilt it as you're shaking. All the gold's gonna go to that front crease. Take the side of your hand, push that material out. Push that material out. See how much faster that is? Push that material out. Then I can do a little bit of panning, tilt back. And then you see all the black sands that I have in there. There's a piece of gold right there. Do you see it? Nice. Now, I see a lot of guys struggling with black sand. They'll sit there and they'll swirl and swirl and, sw oh, there's a whole bunch of gold in there. Look at that. One, two, three, four, five. Okay, so, oh, the, man, there's a lot of gold in there. So, we developed a technique where you shake the pan and, oh, man, look at that. There's a lot of gold in there. My whole backyard's full of gold. Now you've heard of the Alabama bump where you tap the top of the pan, the gold walks to the front. Everybody knows that. We've come up with the Williams wiggle. So you always seen me tap the pan like this. That's to get everything to, to rush to the front. Now the Williams wiggle is you're gonna shake and pull down. Shake and pull down. Shake and pull down. You see how that works? The gold is gonna drop to the bottom, shake, and pull down. Then Alabama bump, you get it to walk, shake, pull down. Just like that. Alabama bump, shake, pull down. Get those heavies out of there. And Alabama bump, preferably with water over the top of it. And you can see all the gold in there. 
I got pieces all up and through there, big chunker right there. So that's one of my tips for you is the Williams wiggle, okay? I got another trick for you guys that's gonna really help out, especially you new guys out there who have issues dealing with black sand, because I know it's a pain in the butt trying to get through all that black sand when you got fine gold on the bottom. Now you could do this dry panning too, but I found it most successful when you're working with water. And all you need is a washer and a rare earth neodymium magnet. So it works best on a large gold pan with a large flat bottom. That's why another reason I like these gold pan Garrett super sluices. Take the washer, put it in the middle of your pan, just like that, you see that? Okay, then you're gonna take the magnet, make sure it's clean, because you want it as close as possible and you're gonna put it right on the bottom, just like that. See that? Isn't that cool? What we're gonna do, I'm gonna shovel up all kinds of good stuff. Yeah. Look at that. Mmm. Ooh, yeah. And yeah, you're gonna get wet. Ah! I'm gonna put him there. Ooh, let me get some more material. Maybe there's more gold in here than I missed. Okay. Let's see what we got. All right. So, gonna stratify. Shake back and forth. Tilt forward. And yes, I know I should be classifying, but I didn't. Oh, one more thing. If you don't have a classifier, trust me, these screens work just fine. Tilt forward. Pan out. Tilt forward. Pan out. Oh my gosh, look at that monker. Woo, he's big old heavy stone. And tilt out. Wow, look at that big old chunk of iron. Now see all my magnetics are right here. See that? Isn't that nice? And then, since all the magnetics are there, it takes away most of the work. So we're gonna gently swirl. I'm gonna do the Williams wiggle. And there you go. Alabama bump, Williams wiggle. Look at that. And there's your gold right in there. And all your magnetics are right here. So, you take your little snuffer bottle that you should have, and you suck up all that gold. Another tip I can give you is when you get these snuffer bottles, make sure that there's a cap in the end. I've seen so many manufacturers out there make one, and the gold gets stuck up in here, and sometimes it comes out the end. It has to have a trap on the end. Got it? All the gold is out of the pan. Now what you can do, is you can pull that magnet right off the bottom and you can pan your black sand. Get that out of there and see if any gold was stuck in your black sands. Tap, 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 swirl, Williams wiggle, and look at that. Oh, a little bit of gold was stuck in the black sand. Not a lot, but see all those big chunkies in there? That's gonna mess with you when you're panning. That tip right there alone is gonna save you so much time when you're out gold panning because it's gonna pull all those magnetics away, make it so much easier to see what you got. You can document it on a map, log it down, move on to the next site because it's all about time. Remember, time is not your friend when you're sampling. You wanna get in as many locations and check those pay streaks and look for any of those deposits on the benches and inside curves and up on the banks. So remember that, you can use that to your advantage and it should be a rare earth magnet. Now, here comes the funnest tip of all. And I know you've never seen this. A question I get asked a lot is, Jeff, what if I'm out on vacation or I'm walking around and I don't have a gold pan to sample with, but I know that there's probably gold in that area. Well, don't worry, son of Jim, we got you covered. It's called the hard hat gold pan. What is I that? bet you didn't see that one coming, did you? That's right, you can use a hard hat to gold pan with. Now, I pan with all different types of utensils, and if you saw that video of me in New York City, I was actually using a salad bowl to pan in the East River. Remember 
remember that? That turtle was trying to get my shiny. But you can use a hard hat and you can find these anywhere. And I'm gonna show you how it's done. So the first thing you wanna do is take that liner out. Ugh, don't need that liner. All right, so now you just got a bowl, right? Deep dish bowl. Now what we've done is we've taken some outdoor carpet and cut it in the shape of a shoe. You see that? And then we hot glued some Velcro on the back and we hot glued some Velcro inside. You see that? And then all you do is you take this guy and you put him right in the middle like that. You see that? <laughs> I know, it's just crazy. Now we're gonna look for some virgin ground and test this monker. So let's go find some virgin ground. You know what? I got a better idea. Let's go find uh, my old panning tub spot where I used to dump all my dirt because I know that place is loaded with gold. Come on, let's go. Give me that. All right. All right, you guys remember this spot. This is my old pan and tub spot where I dump all the water out of my pan and tub. We're just gonna fill that monker up. <laughs> Come on, man. let's go see if this works. All right, knead that material up with your hands. Ooh, that's nasty, like chocolate milk. All right. Now, when you do this technique, you're gonna pan side to side, okay? Here's the hard hat, and here's the side of the brim, the side of the brim, not to the front, side to side. That's very important, okay? And you're gonna get a big swirl going on, and that's what's gonna kick your material out. You don't even need to classify it. See that? Just like that. And if you've got any gold, it's stuck down in this matting or underneath it. And I'll prove my point. Okay, nice clean gold pan, right there. Take him out, see all the material that's trapped underneath the bottom there? See how that works? And then, put him there. All right, take a look at this. Not too far. All right, let's take a look. Do the Williams wiggle. Oh, look at the gold! <laughs> oh, that's a lot of gold! Ooh, I need to put a claim in my backyard. Look at that. Nice. Oh, I hate it when I got stuff on my hands. Look. Oh, nice. Get all you guys to the middle. Mm -mm -mm. See that? Nice, I'll put a snapshot of that up. Isn't that cool? I know you ain't never seen anything like that. And the cool thing about this is, is that you can go prospecting in areas you're unsure of, and if somebody comes up on you, you got your bases covered. Hey buddy, you are not saying jumping, so I... Uh, no, as a matter of fact, I'm not. In fact, I work for the city and I'm looking for infractions. By the way, is that shotgun registered? Ah? <laughs> it works every time. Get you out of a pickle real fast. So those are my tips and tricks. Now, if you guys got any better tips and tricks that are gonna help people find gold faster while they're sampling, I want you to leave those comments down below because we can all learn from each other's experiences. And by doing so, we can all become better gold miners and prospectors, right? So if you enjoyed this video, smash that like button, smash it hard. And don't forget, in about four days, we're giving away tons of gold and silver. Ooh, you wanna see what that looks like? It looks like that. Oh, just feast your eyes on all them silver bars, gold nuggets, and pay dirt. And I got pay dirt all over the place, just trying to give it away. Not only that, but this huge oh, slug yeah. piece of gold that my wife dug up last week. And we're gonna be giving that away here at the end of the month. So you only got a couple days left, Sunny Jim. Yeah. 
Now I know you want to get in on all this gold and silver, so you best hurry and sign up as a premium patron before it's too late. Just look for the little icon at the end of the video that looks something like that. And that! Yeah! Go ahead and click on that moncker, make a $10 pledge, and you're eligible to win some of this gold and silver. But you might want to hurry, because once it's gone, it's gone, son of Jim. I don't want to hear you crying and saying you wish you had. And if you want to watch more videos on how to find gold, go ahead and click this one right here. It's a Jim Dandy, and it'll learn you real good like. And I'll see you on the next video. Yeah!